So I am extremely excited uh, to make this video today. There are a few things I want to cover, but specifically there's there's one big thing that I want to spend most of the video um, showing you guys a clip of and just explaining and telling you why I'm excited about it. It has to do with Litecoin, the Lightning Network, Monero, Bitcoin, and overall if you're not tuning into this, I, I definitely recommend that. So before we get into the good stuff, uh, the Prime Minister of India's office Twitter account tweeted this quote from Narendra Modi, who is the Prime Minister. Uh, disruptive technologies such as blockchain and the Internet of Things will have a profound impact in the ways we live and work. They will require rapid adaption, adaptation. I'm not sure if they meant adoption, rapid adoption, or adaptation. I, I assume both words work in that context uh, in our workplaces. And so that was sourced as Narendra Modi. This Twitter account has 25 million followers, and the actual Prime Minister's Twitter account has 40.4 million. And as we know, India is, you know, getting on board with cryptocurrency. And I think once that really happens on a larger scale, the whole community is going to grow immensely in a short period of time. And it's nice to hear that the Prime Minister of India uh, has this stance on, let me pull it back up, on cryptocurrency and, and the blockchain specifically. And again, before we get into what I'm excited about, Litecoin, oh, just had a little bit of a jump. But yeah, holding still around 224, 225. As I mentioned in previous videos, you know, this is where I really like support, so it's good we're still holding here. Overall market cap went above 500 while I was sleeping, but currently, you know, it's still sitting right around 500, 499 at the time of me making this video. So Charlie Lee retweeted this, and it's it's something that I tune into every time that there's a new episode. This is episode four. Um, Magical Crypto Friends, I would recommend following them on Twitter. They have about 10,000 followers, but this is... If you're involved in Litecoin, Monero, in the community, 100%, you know, one of the best resources because the creator of Monero and so on actually discussing in a, in a roundtable. It's called the uh, Satoshi Roundtable. And so I'm going to leave a link to their YouTube account if you if you aren't already following them. I 100% recommend it. I love watching it. And I was, I was watching the episode today as Charlie just retweeted it and it was actually just recently uploaded. And I'm going to play this clip from episode four. Uh, the reason I like this clip, it's only about a, I'm going to play about a minute of this uh, 41 minute episode. So only about a minute. But what is discussed here is um, obviously Litecoin and Monero working together. But something interesting brought up is the fact that, you know, Litecoin is, is available on all these exchanges. So that's a huge benefit for Monero if they would use atomic swaps. And Monero has that privacy, that fungibility which could be beneficial for Litecoin if you're know if you swapping Litecoin and Monero. So Litecoin would add liquidity to Monero and Monero would add privacy to Litecoin with, with the atomic swaps. They were discussing whether or not Monero could add or could be on the Lightning Network. And then uh, Charlie Lee here kind of goes over, you know, that he believes that they can add it to the Lightning Network. It's still a little iffy. There's still some stuff that needs to be worked out as he states here. But if Monero would join the Lightning Network as well, I think you guys know why I would be extremely excited about that. If, if you aren't aware, I'm extremely excited about the Lightning Network and it, everything that it's going to change about the community when it's 100%. So yeah, let's just play this clip here. It's about a, about a minute long, so let me see. <laughs> Charlie's real plan is just to embed some Monero mining software inside every Litecoin wallet. Oh, that's a smart idea. I know. There we go. <laughs> but Atomic Swaps yeah. also add privacy to the entire thing so that's also uh, something positive well I mean when you break out the chain and you go back in like you you know assuming that there's well it depends on how we do the atomic swap it could or it could also work the opposite way and end up revealing information about uh, about Monero so it has to be done carefully and thoughtfully I didn't know that I learned something new today thank you you had to come all the way to the secret jungle to learn something new yeah well here's a question C can Monero do lightning Charlie knows. Charlie has all the information. Yeah, you need a hash HTLC hash time log contract, right? So um, you guys have to add that first, and then you have to do. Um, I think you have to do a few more things, but it should be too hard to get lightning on Monero. Actually, I don't know. I don't know Monero te <laughs> technical stuff at all. So I just, from what I know, it shouldn't be too hard. But I'm not. Doing so if you work. can do it over lightning, if you can do the swaps over lightning, then you'd 
protect the privacy issues, right? You wouldn't have the privacy issues. Sure, sure. Yeah, we wouldn't have the privacy issues. Yeah. Um, especially if, we, if we've got Tumblebit running in the atomic lightning path. That's kind of the thinking anyway. Yeah. Plus you need to, you should do an ICO for your lightning project. You're, no, that's so again, I, I think this is cool just because you can see a little insight, a little uh, look into these creators talking about Litecoin and Monero realistically using the Lightning Network together. And hopefully in the future, that's something we really see happen. If Monero runs on the Lightning Network with Litecoin, Bitcoin, and all these other coins, like I said, I think I think the Lightning Network is going to be huge, and I think that, that would just make it so much more so. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all of you coming by. If you haven't already, make sure to smash that like button. You don't have to, though. Um, and if you, if you aren't subscribed, please consider. Have a great day and enjoy this uh, rainy Monday, at least rainy where I'm at.